again. Of course, welcome to the stream. Welcome to SIN TV Gaming. And of course, I am your host, Quita, aka Blasian Quita. I know I keep disappearing and it sucks, right? So many of you, you know, have told me like, where the heck have you been? And we miss you. And trust me, I I have missed you as well, but I have needed to rest. Like seriously, day in and day out, I have just been so low on energy, so out of energy, and I have been supremely tired, but you know what? I got all of my strength today, and I saw that Dungeon Fighter Online has been remastered. Can you believe that? Like, really? Like, I almost missed that today. There have been so many updates, and I mean so many that I have missed, but... You know, I, I just needed to rest and, and, you know, as you know, my health has just been like up and down, up and down, but today's a good day, so I, I could not miss out on seeing the new improvements done to Dungeon Fighter Online. I mean, look at the graphics. I mean, if you look, you know, your your health and, and your your SP, you know, they're, they look completely different. Um, I mean, everything else pretty much looks the same, but the way that the bar is set up, I like the finish, and I like how the graphics have, like, greatly, greatly improved. It looks absolutely amazing. So, that's the thing I love about playing Dungeon Fighter Online, is the fact that they really, and this is not to say that, you know, other games that I have played in the past, that they don't care about their fan base, of course, but one thing I noticed about Dungeon Fighter Online is how loyal people are to this game and how tight this game is. And just graphically, it's wonderful. It's well put together. And what can I say? I mean, it looks amazing, okay? Our juicy topic of the day is one that it's something that maybe once in a while I do think about. And that is, would you ever get plastic surgery? I found a very interesting story on Huffington Post in regards to that. Also, I have some news in regards to Tree of Savior and how I feel, which you'll find out later on, about Tree of Savior finally opening it back up to the public. I am so excited because that's definitely another game that I will have to play. That is definitely for sure. So I'm not going to waste any time. You know, no riot talk today. I mean, I had like a little mini riot talk, but let's get down to playing some Dungeon Fighter Online, and I gotta catch you up with everything. Okay, okay. So, first off, I decided, I decided, and I know many of you are gonna be shocked by this, but I decided to give Logitech products another chance, okay? I have the G600 MMO mouse, and that is what I'm going to be playing with today. It is absolutely amazing. It's so comfortable, especially for someone like myself. As you can see, I have huge hands for a beautiful lady like myself. <laughs> so um, it fits so perfectly. And, I, you, and you know me, when it comes to Logitech, it's like up and down, like, you know, I, I've had Logitech stuff like this mouse work really well for me. And then I have I ended up having um, their wireless um, headset and it ended up breaking on me, which kind of sucked. But I'm going to give them another chance here. I'm giving them another chance. So we'll see how like how this goes. So let's play some Dungeon Fighter Online. Oh! I'm so excited, so excited. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything really has changed. I love it, it looks great. So, okay, so before I get into it, because I know I could talk, I go on these like talking tangents forever, but I digress. So one thing I realized about the quest that I was doing before and I didn't understand is how to get blue 
cube fragments. So I'm gonna show you because for me, I've changed the mission of Sin TV Gaming, and that is to focus on covering geek culture and and still don't get me wrong we'll still be talking about the multicultural topics and all that good stuff but i really really wanted to focus on covering geek culture for non-geek people now i know that sounds really hypocritical but one thing i've kind of noticed about sometimes in geek culture especially in gaming culture is that not everybody is advanced or up to terms with certain types of terminology so for me, I just felt like I really wanted to also represent for those new gamers out there, beginner gamers, or people who, you, ne you never know, they may have, you know, a friend or someone that they deeply care about that they love gaming or they love, like, geek type stuff, but they're looking for those definitions, and I really wanted to break that down and just make it fun and make it just more, um make it more simple but still in an intelligent way okay so that's why I really really wanted to do so for this quest this is the easiest way to get these blue cube fragments because you can go back to previous quests and, and you just kind of get all these like white cube fragments or whatever but to me and that's what you do I'll, I'll take that back that's what you do is you collect all these white cube fragments until you get enough to get enough blue cube fragments for this quest so what you want to do is you want to go up here to um, to Sarah or Syria or Syria hopefully I'm saying it right um, and then you want to go to shop and all you need is white cube fragments and you can get any type of cube fragments that you need so what it is is it's five cube fragments for every one colored cube fragment now this is how you get color cube fragments a lot of times you can get them while you're questing other times you may just have to buy it and for me i ended up buying it so that's how i was able i did this while um i was offline so uh, just to kind of save some time so let's finish this quest but let's go the heck outside here let's go to underfoot and uh we ended up finishing it but i wanted to wait so yeah, yes I'm smart. Hopefully. Ooh, we got a rare. Mm, awesome. Yes, experience is always nice. Ooh, yeah, I need some of that mana potion. That would be nice. Sweet. Okay. So let's get going here. So excited, and then. Also, you just have to double click and then that gets rid of that because I was always wondering I was like what the heck like I I never could get rid of it was so annoying to me why I couldn't get rid of the uh, that like three-step reward on the screen it's kind of annoying but let's get going here though but yeah so many improvements I am so pumped so so pumped let's keep going here All right, so we're doing the path to the gold tunnel. Whew, and pardon me for yawning. It's been a long day, and I'm going to get back into my fitness, too. I've been kind of neglecting it. I've been really lazy, you know, because, like, I'm tired, and it's like I don't have the energy. But I'm going to start off with yoga and work my way back to where I was because it's like once you start, like, once, well, once you stop working out, then it's like uh, uh it's like you gotta start all over again it really sucks all right so let's get this adventure on our way and this is where we pretty much last left off here and i've pretty much made my setup really easy so i have all of my attacks in one row on my keyboard so that way i'm not like having to uh ooh, he is taking me out well you know right off the bat you know I cried today and I have to tell you why here first off I cannot believe how wonderful you you know you intellectual freaks and geeks out there are to me I appreciate the support it means 
so much to me that you guys care about me so much i mean i read through the comments and many of you are like when are you coming back i really enjoy your stream and uh you know I, it was it really sucked being so you know gone so long away from from all of you but it was my health at stake you know so i really had to take some time off and and get back into it so of course i have special announcement in regards to that since so many of you love my streams and you love me you know doing this i decided that i am going to stream every other day so that way it, it's just you know i keep better you know continuity and i'm not just you know streaming at random um, because i really am enjoying doing this and, and i love playing different games and so many of you love the juicy topics and if you have any juicy topics too that you like me um to to talk about please let me know because i will you know definitely you know check them out and and talk about them as well because that would totally be fun to be able to do but i mean i cried today because so many of you like i read through the comments and you just you know you tell me how much you enjoy what i do and um okay i'm not gonna cry <laughs> i'm not gonna cry when i'm gaming dang it but uh i i can't tell you how grateful i am that each and every one of you are a blessing to me and uh you know it's been really it's been really hard for me you know as of late to you know find out all the stuff that i'm finding out it's not easy but you know i'm i'm really trying to um man this this monster is on my butt right now he's whooping my butt what the heck is going on here there we go i was like what the heck Woo! this is one pissed off beast here my gosh i am not doing good my friend now, oh well well wait wait i jinxed myself oh no i did not jinx myself okay i need to get out of his way here and get my health back up here Woo! i did not know he was that bitchy jeez it's like this beast has major pms this is ridiculous there we go all right yes yes totally slaying him right now no he's slaying me but that's about to change awesome i think i got carpal tunnel from all that clicking it's really doggone ridiculous <laughs> i'm kidding kidding but yeah i i literally am grateful to each and every one of you for the support you know that's what's kept me positive and i know god is good i know i'm gonna get over this i know this is just you know this is just a setback for me and i have to fight this you know it's just it's not easy what i'm you know going through currently but i'm staying strong because i know you know that's the right thing to do and i'm gonna just keep going and everything you know will work itself out with that man upstairs that's for sure you know and yeah it, it's been a rough couple of you know months for me and that's the reason why i was like man i'm not enjoying you know having been playing my games like how i usually would and you know like, i'm not enjoying myself you know because the whole time i'm you know i'm thinking about i'm like man how sick am i today it was like really sucks you know but so many of you have just encouraged me to stay strong and I'm, I'm telling you i know most of you know but you guys will never know how much that has done for me and how much that has really uplifted me and how much like how, how much so many of you treat me better than some of these people that you know i would like to call my friends you know and i'm so grateful so grateful for each and every one of you and you know what you do to just you know to just take the time to watch these videos and encourage me and support me and you know telling me not to give up and yeah it really means a lot oh snap this thing is oh should i didn't know it would do that Go through there. There we go. All right. All right. So let's go down this way. 
But I'll have to use those side buttons on on this uh, G um, on this G uh, 500 miles. I'll have to try it out. But I think I'll probably do it where one button, you know, because with with Dungeon Fighter you can use like one button and it just pretty much gets all of your attacks in one, which is really kind of nice here. My score is okay. Actually, this is much better than what I thought. So I'm just getting all this awesome stuff, which is always good. See, I wish I could destroy those. Those are really annoying. There we go. Destroy that stuff. Almost there. I can taste the boss right there. Nope, I am going the wrong way. Why? Because I'm an idiot. My sense of direction is horrible. Like, thank goodness for GPSs, I tell ya. Okay, so, all right, so let's go through all this. I'm sure I'm gonna, like, die. Yeah, I'm totally going to die. That's okay. Oh, well, not yet. I still have a fighting chance. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going here. And I love my, like, new mic as well. Like, my voice quality has greatly um, improved since I got this new mic. It's so awesome, man. I love it. And make sure I get the that money. Oh, and I finished the quest already. Gee. But see, you never want to leave these dungeons because there's a nasty penalty you can get. So it's much better. And this is just, of course, beginner tip for those of you who play Dungeon Fighter Online. You know, or you just started, just finish the dungeons. You do not want that, that uh, they call it like a fatigue penalty. And yeah, it slowly drains away your health. Even when you're in town. So my advice is just you know you're better off dying in the dungeon and going back to town than having to deal with that pen the penalty is not worth it so let's keep going it's boss time i know this boss is going to be super badass okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of all these dudes here because they're just a piece of crap distraction from your main boss and these as much as they don't take much damage once you awaken the boss it's even worse when you have them around so i like to just finish them off and and get them out of there so then it gives me more focus just to deal with the boss himself and honestly that is the best way hey we have an awesome person in here thank you so much for watching me i really appreciate it i didn't know this boss was going to be a total dick but that's okay because i'm going to take him out anyway oh no not oh man i got lucky okay so there we go oh whoa whoa oh no he is really vicious yeah, I need to get more skill points up in here. Like, my gosh. And have you noticed, too, with my attacks? Um, they're much more... Hey, wizard! What is going on, man? How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I gotta... Yeah, see, that was smart of me, too duck out of the way there but uh see, i know i'm gonna die regardless here but i'm i'm gonna i'm making a comeback here okay so let's get out of his way ah okay i got lucky there really lucky come on yes 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 that's good that you're good man it, i know it's been a while but it's just like my health has been to crap like Illusion. Well, obviously, yes, this is an illusion. And here's the other thing a lot of people don't know about DFO2, and I didn't know this, is that the HP does for screaming in the mic like a dick. Right? Oh, my. 
No, I'm good, wizard. I'm doing really, really good. Um, this is like my first time coming back. Um, in case you missed the uh, announcement, um, what's gonna end up happening? Yeah, you look pretty pale, girl. I tell you, my demon slayer needs some moisturizer. Seriously. Um, but I, I tell you, I decided in case you didn't hear the announcement, though, wizard is, um, excuse me. I decided to stream every other day. Um, I won't be able to like every day because now I'm trying to get my health back in check. So it's like, I got to work out and do other stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad to be back. I, I didn't think I was going to make it to be, to be honest. I really, I, I have been sleeping like seven, eight plus hours a day. It feels cause it's like my body has just been so weak, you know? And, uh, it's been really crazy. I'm just going to use space bar because as I like, you know, shake my, my table, dang it. Like I mean it like, gar. All right, so I don't need any of this crap. Delilah, you suck. No, I'm kidding. She kind of looks like me if I was white. She really does. I think I could pull that outfit off. I think I really could. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going here. We're gonna just keep, we're on the road to uh, level 36. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it uh, by the end of today's show uh, but for sure I, I know we're gonna get to level 35 and then that's gonna be a cliffhanger and then you guys are gonna be like dang it so all right let's go back to town but yeah things have been really good for me I can't complain um, oh wow see the, the questing is a lot faster in this remastered version of uh, DFO instead of me saying dungeon fighter online like I'm some kind of asshole like I'm, I'm like a, I'm, a lot of times people describe me as being an intellectual asshole which is kind of funny if you really think about it but it's like I'm like here's my thing I am not a asshole type person I am a very nice person um, but when it's something like for example like uh, I would say if it's something I'm really passionate about then sometimes I can come off like a jerk off so you know I, for the people out there who think I'm a jerk off, um, I'm really not. Like, I'm a really nice person. I really am. I do my best to be as well rounded and as well put together as I possibly can. I'm human. You know, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect, but I am who I am, as Moses would say. Or, pardon me, not Moses, but as God said in the, you know, in, uh, the Ten Commandments, of course. I am who I am. So that's what I uh, that's what I represent. So yay, we're at the last part of this dog on dungeon for freaking sake. I'm so freaking happy. And see, I like that we we started right where we left off, and uh, really really happy about that. Look at those combos. Look at that. Those freaking combos. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Oh, you've been busy? What you been doing? I know I've been busy as heck. I've been so, so busy with like work and stuff like that. And you know why I'm working my ass off so hard is because I want to get a graphics card. So that way I can have even better graphics. And then I can like play GFO in uh, okay, so here I I'll give you kind of a little bit of a recap of the update. Okay, so we're in chapter 5 act 1 and one of the major things in the update that I noticed is that they decided to um, remaster the graphics, but you can't take advantage of it with the type of graphics card that I have and uh, I'm kind of playing on like I would say medium low settings if you want to put it that way but I would like to play in the more ultra remastered settings but I have to have a better graphics card to be able to do that um, so oop, oop, I gotta make sure not to die there 
Um, but yeah, that's the main thing that I've been focusing on. So that's why I've also been gone too, because it's like I'm working my ass off, like literally working my butt off, working long hours for each and every one of you here. Seriously, I do it for you guys, okay? Not only myself, but I'm one of these people where it's like I care about community, right? So it's like when I do things, I don't just think about myself necessarily. I think about what can I do to, you know, improve my show so that way it's, you know, it's the betterment uh, for you guys to enjoy what I do. So that's what I've been doing, you know? So... Oh, you haven't been on Twitch much, huh? Well, that's good. See, I always tell people it's good to watch multiple, you know, streamers because you always learn something. And that's something that I have been doing too is I've been watching other, you know, Twitch streamers as well in order to to learn. And also some of them I really enjoy. And, and a lot of them are like super nice. And I'm really grateful that, you know, through Twitch, I have made some wonderful, you know, people who I would say that are my friends, you know, some that I would consider to be like family to me, you know, and wonderful, just wonderful people. Um, I'm also learning more about uh, female gamers and the uh, different types of arguments that are presented when it comes to women who game. And what I'm noticing, it goes a couple of ways. It's either, like for me, a lot of times people say that I'm like an angry feminist, which is interesting um, because for me, feminism represents gender equality. So I don't hate men. You guys know I, <laughs> I, I love my male audience and they know that because I talk about men all the time. Actually, I talk more about men than, you know, than women sometimes, depending on what I'm talking about. Um, but you know oh okay that's cool yeah crafts are really interesting like uh what's that site that people like using for for crafts um etsy etsy if you have not had a chance my friends check out etsy they got some wonderful stuff on there i mean you can find a little bit of everything on etsy see i always do this like stupid of me. all right there we go but yeah, I really like Etsy. I like looking up their stuff for like skincare and beauty and stuff like that, which you know me, I'm, I'm all about the beauty. That, that's just how I roll. And uh, oh, I don't wanna die here. But yeah, I really like Etsy. I, I really support, you know, support your independent, you know, business owners out there. You know, it's not easy being independent, being your own boss. You know, it's it's hard. Trust me, it's it's not easy. And that's why, to me, I always, you know, a lot of times people say I preach, but you know, I always preach about why education is important. You know, it doesn't matter if you go two years, you go four years. Heck, you just go to the library and open up a book. It's so important to take the time to, to learn something to improve your life. I know for me, education really did that for me. Um, you know, education got me out of those times where I was feeling really bad about myself. Um, and, and it really gave me courage to believe in myself more, uh, you know, besides the role models that I have in my life. Uh, but overall, being in you know being in school and having that discipline to be the best at what I do, um, that focus is so important in life. It's really important to have something that you're passionate about, because life is sometimes way too short to be focusing on people who are not worth your time, people who just wanna be difficult, you know. Oh, that's cool that you sell your stuff on Etsy. That's awesome, man. But yeah, I, I just think it's important to put value to what you do and do not let people think they have some jurisdiction like they know you like that. You know, people, people who know that I've talked about this in the past, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, so my, look at this. My weapon's durability is just ridiculous. Like, it goes out so fast and then I have to pay so much coin. I tell you, the life of a demon slayer sucks. 
I couldn't be a demon slayer. If my weapon durability is constantly going out like this, I don't know if I could handle these shenanigans. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I am so ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah, slay it. And I remember one time, I think I got into the score, like, I got a way, way higher score than what I'm getting now. Um, but, yeah, I, I always try to beat, try to beat my score. I always, you know, I, that's the only time where I get competitive like that. That would be cool if DFO was, like, uh, I'm not sure if, like, DFO is competitive like that. Um, but it would be cool to, like in tournaments where to see like who can get the highest score and stuff like that that would be pretty really cool like i would love to like do stuff like that It'd be awesome all right wish me luck here this boss is gonna whoop my ass here we go like i said always take these guys out take them out before you awaken the boss because i will tell you you, it will say, you see how much damage they're doing to me right now? Like, major. Oh my gosh. I got cornered really bad. Yes. Uh. Yes. Where are you, freak? Oh, there's two of them. I can't. Oh no, there's three of them. This is ridiculous. What is going on here? I don't even know. I, yep, and I died. This is, yes. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna use all of my, uh, all of my life coins here. Oh, I should not use that. Not smart. Okay, so let's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, slay, slay, slay. Holy moly, he's not playing around. He is not playing around. He is a major D-bag for, yeah, he really is. Okay, so let's see here. Oh my gosh, this, he's not playing. I'm gonna die again. You see, oh man, I don't even think I'm prepared for this level. Oh my gosh, this is hard. I, maybe I'll come back in when my durability is good. Man, he is a tough boss. Wow, he's really, really tough. I thought that I was gonna get him in one, on one slice, but apparently not. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, come on. Ugh. Yeah, his defense is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, not gonna make it. Not gonna freaking make it. Wow. Yep, and died. Okay. Yeah. See, this really sucks. He's a very tough boss, yo, like, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back up in here, like, a couple levels higher, for sure, yeah, 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 I'm gonna have to level the heck up, oh my gosh, what is going on here, yeah, and then you have these little turds, and they're really freaking annoying, Oh my god. Oh man. This boss sucks. Alright, you gotta get up early. Alright, Wizard. I will see you soon. Thanks for coming in, man. Really appreciate it. Wizard is one of my regulars and he's the best. So supportive. Thank you so much. I hope to see you soon again. Ah! Dang it! Okay, I think I can finish him off. I think I got him. Yes! I think I got him. Okay, I just have to keep slaying him. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep at him. I gotta keep at him. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I got him. 
Oh my god! Yes! Oh! I didn't think I was gonna get it. I didn't think I was gonna get him. No freaking way. Oh my gosh, I got carpal tunnel and then saw. Do you see how my like my hands were shaking there for a moment? I didn't think I had a chance. Yeah, I'm dismissed. Yeah, but you better give me that coin. Ooh, I got a new skill? Really? What is this? What is this? I must see this new skill. That I have obtained. Well, okay, let me get all this crap. Okay, so I got a cropper cross. What the heck is that? Okay, well. Let me get all this swag. Okay, so there's equipment helm converter. Interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Talk to Mr. Uh... Ooh, a hundred black cube fragments of water. Oh, it's an owl coupon. Okay, let's see here. Can I? Heck yeah. Man, he's expensive as heck. All right. Oh my gosh, 19,000 to fix my stupid weapons? That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go back to town. Oh, I can enter arena. Sweet, that's cool. All right, so that's a new area here in the town. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get out of that. Okay, let's look at my new skill. Okay, yep, yeah, we know how to do that. Okay, I got a bunch of skill points. Uh, where do I want to put them, though? That's the thing. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, okay, so I need the prerequisites. So what's the prerequisite? Okay, Wild Thrash. Huh. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna try to... Come on. Oh, I mastered that. Heck yeah. Okay, so I brought those up two levels. Man, use a lot of skill points. Um, Soaring blades. Okay, let's add two to that and blade retraction. Okay. Add some of this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can also al auto allocate your points too, which is really cool, though. I will say that for sure. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's apply that. Okay. I want to try out that other one. That looks really sweet. Okay, so these are new. And of course, you know the max in DFO is 85, so we got a long way to go here. Um, let's see, blade retraction. We'll see. Uh, huh. All right, I think what I'm going to do. I want to try that blade retraction. I'm going to put that there. I want to try it out. I'm just curious. Okay, so got that. That's good. All right. Acquired skill. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it automatically pops up here. Okay, this is good. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's keep going. So we are the desirers of the Black Nightmare.
scary. Alright, so let's talk to him, the sexy dark elves. Alright, so we'll continue investigating the black nightmare. Sweet! Alright, so let's do that. Oh, yay! Level 35! Oh, I love her, um... Anise, I think is her name. Outfit looks amazing. We'll just go through the story here. Rumor about the gold tunnel. Alright, so we are heading back here. Oh, we gotta talk to this lovely gentleman here. His hair, Vaughn's hair is epic, I will say that. Sweet! Yes, experience is good. Huh, Castaway Cave. I can't stand her. She's super annoying, Lenny. Alright, so we got another quest to do here. And I like that, that uh, the location tracker just comes up right away. You don't have to, like, click it anymore. I like that. It's a nice touch. I will say that. All right. So we will start adventure. Oh, this is a long one. Jeez. Woo. All right. Oh, man. That move is... I like that move. Yeah, I'm getting a lot stronger. A lot stronger than before, actually. Oh, that's cool. You can actually move. This is a new area. This is awesome. I like this. And when you're having a stressful day, let me tell you, nothing soothes anger more than DFO. Like, I've had days where it's just like, pe like you know, people are getting on my nerves, and I'm like, you know what, I just need to react. I just need to relax. Let me beat up some enemies in DFO. That sounds like a fun. Let's do that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, you can actually run them over. Oh my gosh, yes! This is so cool! Yeah, I totally have to, like, do that. So far, so good. I'm taking advantage of that speed, for sure. Yep. And I like focusing on the combos, because the more combos you have, of course, that's going to be the better off your score is going to be, for sure. Alright, so I gotta go this way. And then after this, we'll get into our juicy topic of the day here. So this game is sometimes so much concentration, so pardon me if I'm like awkwardly quiet because it's just like there's so much slaying going on right now. I'm like just like absorbing the intensity of it. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, let's get this last one here. There we go. Oh, look, we got new enemies here. Golden Trap. Wow. And actually, this is one level higher than uh, where I'm at. 
So, come on. Nice. You also get dam uh, points for uh, damaging, like, uh, stuff in the background, too. So, make sure you do that as well. So I'm not too sure if those points are added to your uh, final score for the dungeon that you're in. There we go. Man, that move is everything. Pick out these guys here, but yeah, besides that, not much is going on. I mean, I've just been working my butt off and resting, those are the two things. And then I've been eating right, like, like now I look back at what I was eating in the past, and it was very unhealthy the way I look at it. So I'm like making sure to take better care of myself, you know. I'm trying to be on this wonderful planet of ours for as long as I'm meant to be here. And I have to take care of my body. It's it's just important to do that. Oh wow, I'm like getting super cornered. Whoa, whoa, am I gonna outbeat my own combos? Yes. Oh, see, I can't keep those combos going. So those, see, these enemies tend to walk away a lot. So, come on. I probably have like a hundred of these now, it's crazy. Alright, it's boss time. Man. See, I wanna see if I can beat my own combo here. Oh, and she has poison this look. She's real dead. Yeah, she's a, oh well, she is a queen spider, so what do you expect? Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. I am not gonna make it. Ugh. Shoot! I thought I was gonna make it, but apparently not. That sucks. See, and then, uh, I have that fatigue. Well, at least I cleared it, so... Oh, you can still press the location. Hey, we have another friend in here. Appreciate it. How you doing? Alright, so let's try this again from the freaking beginning. Ugh. I thought I had her, dang it. But like I said, sometimes you gotta go through these dungeons more than once. You gotta level up. It's like insane. I just need to get like better skill set here. Yeah, let's take those bricks out. Yes. See, this is where I, you know, my health was not the best, so... I'm 
Okay, well, let me hit this. Nope, not this time. Not giving you the glory. There we go. And I almost had her too, which was the really funny part. So I may have to level up like one level to be able to handle her maybe. That's what I'm gonna probably gonna have to do. And that's what you have to do in DFO sometimes. Sometimes you may not be the right level or you may not have the right type of armor. Um, but I have a complete set, so this shouldn't be a problem. But see, it all depends to how you uh, divide your your skills and your skill tree, like using your skill points. So that can make a difference too. So. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Took him out. So I have to clear the gold tunnel. Alright, let me hit two. See what this will do for me. Oh, there we go. Yep, gotta take him out. Gotta take him out. There we go. I can do this. I believe in myself, dang it. Go get that kingdom choke. Oh no, there we go. I didn't even know they could do that. It's ridiculous. There we go. Alright, let's see. What is in here? Nope, can't use that. Let's see, can I still... Oh, I can still hit I for inventory. Um, yeah, might need that. And might need this too for that boss. I have a feeling like I'm gonna need that for sure. I'm just getting myself prepared ahead of time here. And you only get three life tokens, so you have to use them very, very wisely. But that boss was so tough, like, what choice did I have, really? Right, come on. There we go. I'm glad I, I have that combo attack with the the arrows there I'm really glad because that is very helpful there we go. especially for this here yep yeah I'm getting those criticals which is gonna be perfect you know for me so. Take them out, take them out. Right. Those aerial attacks are gonna be important. I'm just trying to conserve the potions for when I have the boss. That is when I really need it. I didn't know she had those stupid little spiders, and I had no idea that they blow up too. How annoying is that? I mean, that's the challenge in DFO, of course, but it's ridiculous. There we go. Yes. Okay, let's go down here. Doing pretty well. Doing good. Doing good. My score is really high. I was not. I think I'm doing better than than how I was before. If I keep going, I'll probably get like what, like uh, like maybe I'll try to get over uh, two hundred thousand. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Alright, 
here it goes round two a greedy spider feeds on gold no duh oh these things so annoying okay so let's do that oh i want these other ones out of here there we go oh i didn't even see that there we go oh there's there we go come on ah dang it yes okay so now i can just focus on her if she allow me to focus on her Yes. Yeah, I like how she's like, die, and I'm like, nope, not today, I am not dying. I'm gonna take you out. I am gonna take you out. I have confidence in myself. I believe in myself, and I am taking you out. I am not gonna allow you to kill me so easily. Shoot. Okay, so let me take two. Oh, come on! This sucks. I thought I had her, man. Ugh. I'm wasting my gold. Okay, there's gotta be other quests that I can do. There's gotta be. some funny moments too. Let's see. I know to amplify. Nope, I can't do any of that. Nope, pardon me. Oh. Alright, let me take a look here. Uh, deadly poison sword. Nope, that's not gonna help me. Uh -huh. This Zimbato would help me. Not that. This. Has to be level 55. Nope, but nope. So the only thing would be this. Alright. So let's take a look at that. That sword looks epic. Let's try it out. Maybe I'll have a better shot. giving up so easily dang it we're gonna get this stupid spider queen or whatever and this is on easy this is how ridiculous this is I beat my combo. I beat my combo. I got 40. Yes. 
I didn't think I was gonna do it, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Alright, let's keep going here. Take out these dudes here. Whatever that weapon was, glad I got it because I'm straight up like playing right now the way I'm supposed to. like determined now I'm like I got to beat this boss because he's really hard dang it I'm gonna do it that's why I'm gonna keep telling myself have, I gotta have faith in myself These are the ones that are really annoying. Like, really super annoying. See, when I get pissed off like this, then I'm like more determined than ever before. There we go. Oh, don't forget the money because I've already spent enough money. I forgot that these meteors are currency, so I'll have to make sure I uh, save them up. Let me make sure I get rid of these other ones here. I forgot about these two birds. I think I have a better chance now, we'll see. Or maybe not. I think I might have a chance. I think I might have a chance. See, I gotta... Yep, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Ah! I think I might have a chance, guys. Yes, I think I do. I just have to keep a distance from her. That's what I'm noticing. Is, uh, yeah, when she starts to throw these things, that's when I get screwed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got you now. I'm going to get this. I am not allowing her to beat me. No way in hell. I will be so pissed. Oh, man. I am so close. I am so close. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta... Man, these things won't leave me alone. She's really... Really freaking tough, man. Yes, I got her. No! No, 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 no! I am so mad. Oh, I can't use it. Shoot! I was so close, guys. I am so mad at myself. I am so freaking mad. Okay, so first, where the heck? We're gonna do this again. I have to get this. I have to. This is ridiculous. I have the right weapon. Everything was going well. I was gonna right click. So pissed. But before we get to that, let me like gain composure here. Let's go over our juicy topic of the day. And that is all about would you get plastic surgery? This is a st this inspired well this juicy topic really was inspired by a story here that I found on the Huffington Post. I love the Huffington Post. They always have such interesting stories. So yes, every female celebrity has done this surgery. Celebrity plastic surgery has been a source of fascination for decades and speculation over who might have gone under the knife has practically become a national pastime. Have they or haven't they, the items are the staples in celebrity weeklies complete with side-by-side -side photos of stars then and now. So there's this show on E! that I highly recommend. It is called Botch. And it is all about people who have had just botched up, you know, surge like they want sur they had surgeries and it just went terribly wrong, or they feel something's botched with them, like something's not right, and they want them to fix it. So they are Dr. Paul Nasif and Dr. Terry Dubrow. And they actually this is really cool. So they actually sat down with the Huffington Post and talked about you know plastic surgery including um some of the plastic for cert like plastic surgery procedures that every female star in hollywood is having the procedures that celebrities won't admit to having and the stars who are driving plastic surgery's biggest trends which i thought was very interesting so these are some of the points it says it's very likely that a celebrity has had some sort of cosmetic procedure so what they were talking about is if a celebrity looks preserved so for example Demi more like Demi Moore pardon me um, when I mean you could clearly tell I mean didn't matter how old she gets her face would be so smooth but now um, she's been embracing her age so her age is starting to show a little bit more but before that she looked ageless to me so it, it is semi true, not completely true that every celebrity has had surgery done. But if you see people where it's like, you know, they're in their 30s, then they're in their 40s, and they still look like they're in their like, you know, 20s or so or 30s, then something had to have been done um, to, to their face. There was a time when every celebrity had practically the same face. So, according to Dr. Dubrow, and this is around seven to eight years ago, um, the thing that was very popular was having fat injected into your face. So, what ended up happening is because of all these fat injections, you know, and here's the thing, when it comes to plastic surgery, as a, you know, as a disclaimer, I am not a medical professional, but you always want to make sure that you get the proper recommendations or else you may get a procedure done and it makes you look, you know, kind of weird. And the fat injections really altered your face, you know, and many would call it, uh, well, not many, but according um, to this article, they called it the new face. Uh, because what would happen is uh, a lot of the, the stars started kind of looking homogenous, meaning that they started to kind of look the same almost. So. It, it would be like, well, obviously, it seems like you're going to the same surgeon, which is kind of 
you know crazy and now from what the doctors were saying is the trend for celebrities is to just look like a lot uh, to look like a better perhaps more youthful version of themselves instead of all looking um, alike and then a lot of celebrities aren't having surgery but they're still having work done um, which is interesting so there are a lot of celebrities like celebrities out there according to uh, Dr. Na uh, Nassif in this uh, particular article or particular post um, they have things such as um, non-invasive treatments that don't require surgery because sometimes with surgery you get scarring but with the way technology is that's you know slowly starting to kind of change in regards to healing times and things like that so they have what's called cool sculpting which is known as is like cyrolipoliosis sounds very complicated right uh, but one of the how this process works is it freezes the body the body's fat and requires very little recovery time so for example the Kardashians did this on um, the season one of the seasons of keeping up with the Kardashians but here's the thing doesn't matter how much plastic surgery you know you're getting done here there's something called the aging process and it's like you know you want to age gracefully you don't want to just you know do all these plastic like plastic surgery procedures and you look really artificial you know and then you also want to make sure you're going to the right person because you know your face could get botched and sometimes you know you pray that your face is not to what they call the point of no return where it can't be reversed you know it's kind of uh sad and then dr dubrow mentioned that almost everyone in hollywood is clearly having fillers like uh, resilin or juvederm uh chloe kardashian recently admitted to getting uh fillers while uh while talking um to him on her show which was called cocktails with chloe it, it was okay um, so i mean pretty much this arc what's really interesting about this article though is uh and and i want to make sure to make a correction this is just hypothesis this is not like exact like what celebrities are exactly getting so i want to make sure i put in that correction um as well all of this is you know alleged okay alleged so um yeah so this is it, it's very very interesting here um that these are the type of procedures um that you know some people are you know allegedly getting done it's very you know it's very 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 interesting and then here's the other thing too these days there is less shame associated with cosmetic surgery it's becoming more common for celebrities to be more open about the procedures um, they have uh, done so like for example with Iggy Isaiah you know she admitted to having a breast augmentation well I mean obviously you know and uh, it, it's becoming more commonplace which is you know and then there are still people who are not going to admit it because once again when you alter yourself it sometimes it puts yourself out there for scrutiny and nobody wants to deal with scrutiny nobody wants to deal with criticism so I thought this is very very interesting um, I think what both of these doctors are doing is it's absolutely amazing and you have to have very natural blessed you know talent gifted talent to do what these guys do and it's not easy especially when something is botched there's a lot of risks that are involved so you got to make sure you're going to the right type of person um, to to fix these type of issues and once again this is all alleged um, and I you know once again this is according to the article and I am not saying that this is exactly what dr. Paul Nastiff and dr. Terry Dubrow um, are saying because once again this is all like alleged this is not me saying that these celebrities have had this type of work done just as another disclaimer right there so yeah I thought this is very very interesting but how do I feel about this so for me at one time and it was due to me dealing with low self-esteem I was considering getting work done because I felt that you know 
if if I got plastic surgery done, then that would equal to me feeling more flawless about myself. And then, you know, and a lot of times, and I know for, for some women, I can't speak for all women, is there, you know, there comes a point in your time, in your life that you get tired of being the ugly woman. And you want to be that supermodel or you want to be the vivacious, sexy one, you know, that all the, you know, men, ladies, whatever you're into, whatever gravitates towards, you know, gravitates towards you. And I know for me, that was one of the reasons why I was considering it. But once I started doing research and looking at the risks that are involved with altering your appearance, I started looking at it's not worth it. And then one thing about, you know, anything that's plastic surgery or reconstructive, you got to get multiple opinions because this is your body, right? And you want to make sure that the persons who, who or the persons or multiple people or whatever or team, whoever is working on your body, they know what they're doing because the worst thing that can happen to you is to have a botched surgery, especially if it's botched and you pray to God that they, you know, it's not at the point of no return where it can't be reversed and then you're permanently living with this like that really you know that i mean that really sucks you know i i mean no nobody deserves to to go through that so i i think there is a personal responsibility for every person out there before you go to a plastic surgeon you want to make sure you know you got to check the work that they've done to make sure it works with what you want on your body you know it's it's just I, it's important but we'll get into the rest of the the other juicy topics that i have so let's get back into it here but that sword is really awesome like i like how this person is just blocking the way there but i skipped them so it's like whatever okay so let's let's keep going here i almost had her i was so freaking pissed far so good I gotta take these guys out especially these ones man these dwarf um, barbarians they do lots of damage man I got the triple S ranking already like wow I feel like I'm gonna have to go through this dungeon like multiple times before I get anywhere. Probably get to level 36 in no time, like seriously. Right, so we got the large treasure here. All right, so let's increase our speed because we will need that. had her I was so pissed it's just those bomb spiders man they're so annoying they're really really annoying and I can't believe we're almost to the end of June this is so crazy and in July of course like I said every month I switch to a different game so I, I'm still debating what I want to pick for next month. If you have any suggestions, please like let me know. Um, because I was looking at playing Tree of Savior um, because I saw like it was pretty cool. Oh, doing pretty good. And there's some other games too I was checking too. Not a lot, a lot of new games out, especially for MMOs. 
And most of the ones that I would like to play are not coming out until like fall, actually. So <sighs> I'm like so it's like so hot today. It's like ridiculous. All right, so let's keep going here. All right, so I always forget <laughs> this level. I have to like go down here. All right, so let's go down here. All right, so let's get all of these. Yes! Oh my gosh! 60 combo! So I even beat my previous record. Sweet. I was not expecting like 60 combo. That is so awesome. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's get some of these floating ores. And now I know what these are for. These uh, meteors are like currency for the elf guy so that I can get more rarity type items. So I'm making sure I like take advantage. I don't know what these kingdom tokens are for though. See this game, there's so much stuff to learn. Like some people think this is like a basic game, but I mean, once you start getting to more advanced levels, there is a learning curve to this game. You know, like I had to like read on how to use the different color fragments and what they do and stuff. Like it's, it's a lot to take in sometimes, like seriously. All right, let's take this dude out. Come on. And see, I hate when they do that. Right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, got a bunch of those. So I'm making sure I pick those up. And I tried programming this to play with a controller, but it really did not do really, really well for me. So I'm going to have to... I'm. There's got to be a way for me to... Uh, to play this with a controller because I think it would be even more fun with it but I'll see because I mean I don't mind the keyboard because I mean it's pretty much designed to be played that way but it's like my wrist hurts so bad after a while and I usually play for like two to three hours so you can only imagine how my wrist feels like by the end of my gaming session it's like crazy but I hope all of you are doing well. Ugh. It's like I have work tomorrow too. Ugh, gonna suck. All right, here's the boss. I think I got it. All right, so let's take these turds out first. Ah, oh, for peak's sake. She is such an asshole, I tell ya. See, this is where I seriously struggled. Really struggled. I gotta take all of these turds out first. Okay. So I'm not going to use this health until... Oh, well, I need it now. Jeez. Okay, I think I got her. I just have to keep a distance. Oh, I totally missed my opportunity. Yeah, I just got to keep her on the ground. Keep her on the ground. Yes, I think I got her. Shoot. These things are such assholes, man. Okay, I gotta keep my... Yeah, such... Okay, I'll just have to walk around her. Oh, shoot. Ah. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. See, and I died. Okay, I got one. I think I might have a chance. Hey, Cyborg, what's up, man? It's been a while. It has been a while. I'm just trying to finish off this freaking um, spider that is whooping my butt right now. But I think I got her. I think I got her. I'm gonna get her. I am so sick of dealing with her. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna get. Yes! 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 Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 
Cyborg, I'm dying. That was ridiculous. You know how many times I had to do that? I had to do that like probably four times. But how you been, man? This is ridiculous. Yes. I startled you. I'm startled that I even beat that spider because it was a major pain in my butt. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I gotta take this. Huh. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, so what the heck is this? Warrior's Cry Potion. Okay, attack damage. Oh, I need 20 clear cube fragments. Freaking fantastic. Alright, so let's see what these are. Okay, so I want to get all of those. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. That was insane. Man, that took a lot out of me. So let's start the next quest. I'm gonna just start the next quest before we finish up the news here for today. All right, so keep going here. We're going to a whole new area. Play PC games like Hearthstone. You know, I'm glad you brought that up, Cyborg, because I. I am not really into card games like I tried you know card games but I am just not good at them and they give me a migraine and card games is all about strategy you know and sometimes like games like Hearthstone and this is just my personal opinion um, it's an interesting game if you understand it it's fun but if you don't understand it it's not fun and that's why I kind of stay away from card games because I just don't have fun with them. I feel like I'm going to have a migraine. There's just too many rules and process and regulations to understand. You know, like it's it's advanced gaming. That's the way I look at Hearthstone and a lot of these card games that are out. Um, it's very advanced, but that's just me personally. It's just me personally. But yeah, I do get people who... Um, who asked me about that so this is Lumidia or whatever and we have to yeah it's prevalent in Castaway Cave all right I would just like more cutscenes in this game that's that's the only thing about DFO I will say all right so I got some experience okay I haven't gotten this far in the game so this is cool this is all like new for me all right, I'll just get money. That's okay. Money is good because you know I I I need the money. Um. All right, so let's keep going. So I'm headed right back where I need to be. Okay, so. All right, so let's start our adventure here, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind, like, I like watching people play Hearthstone, but it's just, as I, like, get my butt kicked here, but, yeah, I mean, I don't mind, but it's just hard, man, like, very, very hard. I like watching people play, like, people who really like it, enjoy it, I love watching them, it's, like, so awesome to watch them play it. But, yeah, I mean, I really appreciate that suggestion, but, you know. Um, what is Dead by Daylight? I have never heard of that. And I have never heard of Roblox either. I am not familiar. See, I learn stuff from you guys as well. Because, I mean, for me, you know, I tend not to play a lot of uh, newer games. Because it's like, I like to play games that I at least have a gist of, like, understanding them. Um, I... not sometimes I'm not the type of person that will pick up a new game um, because it's popular or other people are playing it you know I tend to pick games according to um, what I 
like what I feel like I know it's gonna be something. I'll say replayability, you know, like how long I would be engaged into it is gonna be, wow, I just got poisoned. How? That is ridiculous. This is absurd. All right, so let's go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna use that card, heck yeah. I just got hit again for some weird reason. That is ridiculous. Ah, come on. I sound so aggravated today. It's just like, man, I had to do one dungeon four times. Like, it was crazy today. There we go. Man, these, oh, these are new enemies. These are uh, dwarf goldsmiths. All right, let me use this thing and get that smacked up there. See, I am not a fan of those type of games either. I, I am not a fan. Nah, I'm not a fan. I tried playing horror games and I just, I can't do them. I cannot do them. I, I, for me, I love watching other people play them, but I, I can't do them. I, I've tried playing them and, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I could do it. I think I would need a diaper. <laughs> like, I would be like you know scared to play those type of games and yeah I am I am not the type to play horror games I mm, I was considering it but then I changed my mind because I was just like yeah I don't I don't know see I like games that I know I'll be engaged in so like when people watch me like they can tell that I'm like engaged in it um, I don't think people would like to see me with like a constipated face the whole time. <laughs> but no, I really appreciate those suggestions though. Um, Overwatch. Now, let's talk about Overwatch, shall we? Overwatch is more popular than League of Legends in South Korea. I never thought I would say, like, I never thought that I would see the day that another game would overthrow League of Legends. League of Legends is such a legend game, no pun intended. Um, but I was really surprised about Overwatch. Like, all my friends are playing it. Um, right now, currently, unfortunately, I can't play it because I just don't have the proper specs for it. Um, but, you know, shooter games, as a female gamer, I'll be honest, um, not a lot of not a lot of uh, people like to see women play shooter games because if you have to be really good if you're not good I just for me I just don't like dealing with the criticism that comes with those type of games I mean that's just me personally um, I feel like if I played overwatch then I would constantly be dealing with people being like oh you're a female gamer and you suck so I leave those games to, you know, the, uh, I feel like, I mean, Overwatch is, I see a lot of, like, I see some, you know, some women play it, but they're usually really good at it. Like, I am not good at those type of games. Like, if I were to play Overwatch, you would probably stop watching me, or, <laughs> or I would get the people that are just like, you suck, you know, and it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it is a very popular game, but for me, I mean, I don't have a problem with popular games. It's just not my focus. Um, I like to play games, you know, across the board because I, I feel like, and this is just my, you know, my opinion. Um, I feel like when you play a lot of popular games, then it becomes an expectation. And then when you try to play different types of games, then people kind of, uh, expect you to only play popular games and not a, a variety and once again this is not me saying that you know old oh, popular games are, are not good um but for me i i don't know maybe i'm being too sensitive but i've just dealt with so much like 
um, in regards to that. I feel like if I were to play popular games, then um, I'm dealing with a boss right now. A mini boss. This is crazy. Are you serious? This is insane. When they said this game gets harder as you go, they were not lying. But yeah, I just... I don't know. Like, Overwatch would be something where it's... I leave it to the, you know, to the either the girls, you know, the female gamers that are really good at it, you know, or the people that really, you know, they really enjoy it and are, are passionate about it. Okay, so we got Gold King Widder. Oh! I... You know, people say that, but then at the same time, though... If I started playing popular games, then I feel like, I, well, I would say two things would happen. It would become an expectation, and then I would say as, you know, a female gamer, it's not my place. As weird as that sounds, I feel like there are certain games that um, if, if you're a female gamer, you have to be really good at it. Like, you have to be really good at it, or else it's like, especially with Overwatch, like, if I sucked at it, I just, I don't know if I could handle the criticism. Maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Maybe that's the reason why I kind of stay away from popular games, because it becomes an expectation, and then people expect you to be really, really good at it. And then when you really suck at it, then you're constantly dealing with like people being like, oh, you suck at Overwatch, you shouldn't be. And it's like, I like playing games to, to play games, but I feel like with the popular games, I'm gonna leave it to the people who are popular, who play popular games, or, you know, I'll, I'll leave. It's not my place as a woman to be playing those type of games. Like, I'll just put it that way. I'll, I'll put it that way. I mean, these are good suggestions, don't get me wrong. Um, I appreciate it, but it's not my place. See, I'm kind of learning what my place is as as a woman um, in gaming. Like, I, I feel like I know that I have limitations. And, you know, I, I know that if I were to play other games like that, then it would put me in a situation where I would feel like pressure to perform correctly instead of like I know many of you can relate to this where it's like it's hard like if I was okay let, let me find a way to put this like I feel like if I was the type of person that played you know overwatch and stuff from the get-go then that would be fine but if i started switching over and started playing those type of games as a as a woman it's not my place because i feel like those are the games like for the guys i see the guys play them and that is the expectation i'm just kind of scared to cross over into those type of games just because i don't want to deal with the backlash that comes with playing those games now the women who can do that awesome but for me personally I've kind of learned my place like the the guy gamers have kind of taught me that I'm not supposed to play those type of games so I'm not gonna play them like I'm not um, I really appreciate the suggestions Rocket League 2 it's like a guy game too like I kind of feel like I let the men play their the games that that like a lot of the games that you're mentioning a lot of guys play them and I I just for me Rocket League if I started playing that then it would become like oh you suck at Rocket League and you know you suck at this and that and it's like I just don't want to deal with that yeah that's the best way to deal with, yeah that's the best way to say it like I just I just don't want to deal with that. Okay, so... Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. I... Okay, so apparently I did something stupid here. Oh, boy. This is getting deep. This is getting deep. 
really, really deep. I was not expecting the story to uh, turn deep like that. All right, cool. So I got the last honey time. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, I would play Rocket League or and stuff like that if I if I didn't feel like you know guys would tell me I suck, <laughs> you know. And this is not me saying that like you know all you know men that game are like this. No, but. I just know what my place is like I'm not crossing over into games like that because I know then I would be dealing with me sucking and I like to like I like playing games where I feel like I don't have that expectation maybe that's the best way to put it you know I know my limitations as as a female gamer and I'm just gonna stay with playing like MMOs like you know, playing games like, uh, I've played Neverwinter before, that's a fun game. I like, you know, Dungeon Fighter, but the, the games that are for men, I'm gonna leave them for, the, for men. <laughs> like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm not, I am not crossing over because I, yeah, I just don't like dealing with the, uh, you know, like, you're a woman, you should be playing these type of games, so they're absolutely right. I'm gonna stick to MMOs, because those type of games are enjoyable for, um, a lot of people like playing them, and, and that's why I like, you know, playing. But any of, like, any games that the guys tend to play, you know, or the games that are super popular, I know that is for men only. That is, like, a male demographic only, and I could not play them because I am not worthy to play them so I am not I, I'm not doing that um, I'm not going there but you know that that's just me though but let's continue finishing up the news here before we get into some uh, some more gameplay but I, I really hope that explains it I, I just know that you know once if, if I started playing more and more popular games that you know, it's it's games that men are you know men are supposed to play. Um, what would happen is then I would be dealing with the you know you suck and all that. And it's like I like having fun when I game. So you know I'm not dissing these games. These games that the recommendations are awesome. You know they seem to be really awesome games, but I don't think it's my place as as a woman to uh, to play those type of games. But that's just me though. So this is both of these stories are coming from MMOs.com. I love MMOs.com. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with Omer. Like Omer's voice is fantastic. I love all the stuff that they do. Um, their show is great. I like I watch it every week. It is so well put together. So if you have a chance, check out MMOs.com. You will not be disappointed. It's really good. It's really, really good. So, good news! Tree of Savior is accepting new players! We have waited so long. I had to take a break from Tree of Savior. You know why? It was because of the lag issues. Like, I got serious lag from playing that game. Like, it was horrible. So, IMC Games announced today that nearly a month, and this came out on the 23rd, after it announced that it would be suspending new users' ability to download Tree of Savior, the game can be downloaded once again. So, yay! According to Steam Charts, the average number of co coherent players has dropped by half, and the peak number... Of co of of core current players has dropped by almost two thirds. Did the players leave because they they didn't or they couldn't bring their friends in, or did they grow tired of the game altogether? Is the game more stable now, or is it simply a matter of the number of co current users dropping? I suppose we will know the answers to these questions enough. So I will say I am so happy, very very happy. To see that Tree of Savior, um, you know, I, I am so, so happy to see that Tree of Savior 
has opened up again. I, I, I really feel it is a really good game, but the problem, and I hope that they fix this the next time I, you know, have a chance to play it, it was lag issues. That, that was the real issue for me. I remember when I would stream the game, I would constantly be dealing with lag, which was really, really frustrating. And then sometimes the game would just freeze up on me, which was even more frustrating because it is a really, really good game. You know, it is definitely to me a proper successor to Ragnarok. And, and I think it is very well done. I, and, I, and I think now since it's open again and people can play it, I think it may help to um, raise um, the concurrent uh, player level, hopefully. So if you've played Tree of Savior, definitely in the comments below let me know if you love it or you hate it. Or what other games are you looking forward to as well? Because there's a lot of games, especially in the fall, that, that's going to be coming out. It's like insane. It's crazy. Um, also, Steam sale, speaking of Steam, has been going on, but I didn't really see any really good deals, though. This is just my personal opinion. I didn't see anything. I, I really didn't. Um, you know, uh, yeah, that's cool. You have a YouTube. I'll have to check it out for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but... I don't know it's like this year I was looking at the steam sale and uh, I scrolled through but I was like I, I felt like I already had the games that I wanted you know what I mean so and I'm kind of getting back and I know P oh my gosh I can't believe I'm saying this PC gamers are gonna be so pissed at me uh, but I'm kind of going back to console a little bit like I'm starting to really uh, like console and and maybe the reason why I like console too is it's just maybe more of the games that I like playing too are on console. I'm really hoping I can get a PS4, um, and but I'm kind of waiting until the catalog gets a little bit better because most of the games that I've seen for, for the PS4, I'm not super, super impressed per se. But we'll see what happens in the fall. I mean, Final Fantasy looks really, you know, it looks really cool. Um, but we'll see we'll see i'm still debating whether or not i want to get a ps4 um still debating we'll we'll, we'll, see. we'll see we'll see but uh but yeah like let's get back into it here and then uh we'll do our last story and then i'll do some uh food for thought of course uh but all right second area yeah yeah, I really like the PS4, man. I mean, I, I haven't had a chance. I, I mean, I've seen it. I've looked at it. You know, I've watched my friends play it, but I have not actually gotten my hands on it. Okay, I was a fool there, not paying attention. But, um, yeah, it seems like it's a fun system, but the games, that's the main thing. Like, I'm just waiting until there's a more fuller kind of catalog, you know? I mean, at least with the PS3, which is what I have currently, you know, there's, there's a wider, like, selection, you know, of games. Because, I mean, the catalog, you know, it's been out for a while. But since this is a new system, I like to wait at least a year before I get a new system. You know, I am not one of these people where, you know, they have that saying, you know, you don't have to... Or you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. I am not that type of person. I don't care if a game is, you know, popular or not. It has to be something that I really enjoy. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll try new games, but I like playing games that I know has that re that replayability factor for me. Like I really. Ooh, this is cool. Oh. Oh well, they're pissed. Why am I not surprised? They're always pissed at me. Oh yeah, you can tell they're like rage, so like major rage. All right. Hopefully the boss this time will not be like a major like a hole like the one I was dealing with before. That boss was horrible. Crazy. Oh, pardon me. Wow, there we go. Oh, 
gold plated bracelet. That sounds like an awesome plan. Oh, all right. Let me go up here. Oh, I just have to destroy these things. Okay, that's good. But that boss is gonna be a biatch. Oh, but I have, I've increased my chances. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I, I can understand them being pissed. I mean, they you know they worked their butts off for all their gold, and it's like I'm taking their you know pride and joy away from them. Sucks to be them. <laughs> I am ridiculous. You think PS4 is better? Oh man! Woo! That is that is the ultimate debate, right? Which system is better? Like that's all I've been seeing. Which system is better? For me, I like PS4 just because I play a lot of uh, role-playing games, so most of the time they tend to come out on PS4. So that's sometimes the reason why I lean towards. Uh, PS4. Um, this is just my preference. I, you know, I don't see anything wrong with other systems, but it's just for me because I play a lot of RPGs. They tend to come out, you know, through PS4, so or PS3. Um, so that's why I tend to kind of lean towards that. But don't get me wrong, I still love PC gaming. You know, I mean, the majority of this month I've been playing, you know, doing PC gaming. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've kind of been switching the console a little bit, too. It's just because, like, the games I'm waiting for, most of them are not coming out until, like, the fall. So it's just like, ugh. Alright. Okay, so we got three. Alright, so let's keep going. There we go. Awesome. Getting that experience is really good. So what kind of games do you like playing Cyborg? I'm kind of curious to know. Because I'm always interested in knowing what games my audience plays. Because a lot of times what I notice too is that my audience plays games completely different than what I play. Completely, completely different. So it's interesting to me. And then it also allows me to learn about, you know, games that, like a lot of the games that I play on here sometimes are games that I would never, ever play, like ever. Um, but it's just kind of opened me up to different types of games and, and just, it's interesting to know like what people play and what's out there, you know? I, I think it's really interesting. All right, come on. Man, I am just getting slayed, like... Ooh, no, no, no. Ah, shit. I really, really hate this boss. They are super, super annoying. The worst freaking boss ever. See, my aim is... Ri oh, really? Really? Not enough tokens. What is what? What? Like, oh my god, I can't. Ridiculous. Okay, so I have to recover. All right, so I gotta go back in. And this is on easy, people. Easy. Okay. So I just gotta finish this. Now I'm probably gonna get out of this dungeon because I'm not strong enough yet. But I am so close to being level 36. And I have one more stupid furnace to oh, so big. So, so pissed. I'll just finish this one off. Quest complete. Alright. 
Okay. Okay. I see. See, yeah, you play. See, your your gaming selections, yeah, completely different from mine. That's very interesting. Very very interesting. Oh, okay. You play a lot different ones too. Okay. Yeah, cause some some people they come in here because they like the fact that I play a lot of like um, MMO RPGs and just a lot of RPGs in general. So that's very that's actually very interesting. But yeah, I am not good at shooters. I think I have played maybe two shooters on this show, and I got a migraine. <laughs> I got a migraine so bad. I was just like, I suck so bad at this. And then I kept having people telling me I suck, so I was just like, I am not doing this anymore. Like, I am not playing shooters because I just, just mm, I'm not good at them. Plus, I feel like shooters are like a guy thing, so, you know. I feel like the you know guys tend to do a lot better at it, so I'm like, nah. And then I prefer you know like do this and finish this quest, you know. So I, I like doing stuff like that. Ah. Ah, I should have rolled it the other way. Dag it. Okay, there we go. This is where I was. Oh no. I didn't even see him. He just came out of left field here. Okay. Alright. See, I was doing good up till this point. I can't even imagine how the boss is gonna be going to be crazy. Yeah, I suck at shooters, man. I do not have that eye hand coordination that is required. I really like I really really don't and I don't have the competitive nature in order to play those games too because I like for me what I noticed is like if you play a shooter then people automatically expect you to be competitive and I mean I really I mean sometimes I have you know competitiveness you know where it's friendly competition amongst my friends but I notice when I stream, you know, if I were to play a game like that, then people expect me to be like a pro. You know, they expect me to be super, super competitive and I have to be perfect. And it's like, I'm not perfect. So it can be kind of frustrating sometimes. And then I'm the type where, you know, I'm trying to, you know, satisfy my audience. And then when I fail, you know, I take it very to heart, you know, and I take it very seriously, which I shouldn't, but I'm the type where it's like, I, um, I wear my heart on my sleeve, as they would say. Ah, I hate this thing. Where are you? Okay, there was, oh, there's me being super, super angry. I really hate that. Okay, I'm doing a lot better. Maybe it's all that anger built up uh, from from losing four times so I think I'm doing a heck of a lot better now but uh but yeah that's the thing it's just I feel you know those type of games you gotta be you know a guy and you have to be perfect at it you have to be really really good cause if you're not it's you know People give you a hard time about it. They really, really do. Okay. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Like, what the heck? Oh. And. Ah, uh, there we go. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I made it. Oh. Okay. I like that. Everybody get around. We got company. Like, really? Ridiculous. Oh, he inflicts poison. Not a good time. 
not a good time. Look at all this carnage. This is ridiculous. Oh, I gotta finish him off because if I don't... Okay, I gotta come over here. Immediately. Okay. So let me take this down. Okay. Oh man, he is something else. I, what? How the heck am I gonna beat this guy? This is ridiculous. Wow. He is super intense. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use my... Wow, he is a very... Are you serious? This is crazy. So it's better off for me. He's a very, very tough boss. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, so I see how to deal with him. You just gotta, like, get him cornered. There we go. Man, his defense is supremely high. Man. Man, he is not playing with me right now. This is a tough boss, people. Man. I can't even, like, get him down here. I think I got him now a little bit. Man, he is something else. Okay, I think I got him. I think I got him for now. Whew. And, yeah, got him. That was rough. I have like carpal tunnel in my hand. There we go. Yes, I did. Yeah, I should have investigated. Yeah, that that makes sense. See, she's smart. So I have to get all their hammers. Oh, I am so close to level thirty-six. All right, let me go back to town. I gotta repair my weapon. And there are also people where you can go and repair your weapon for a heck of a lot cheaper, I'll tell you that. All right, so got that all repaired. As you can see, I have like the rare armor, which is awesome. I have a unique weapon here. Can't synthesize that. And that's my title. And, okay, so this is a general HP potion, so I'll keep that there, but, okay. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Um, hey, what's going on? We got another awesome person in here. Appreciate it. We got Cyborg up in here. Really appreciate it. Very interesting commentary. And, um, yeah, very interested in what kind of games you guys play. Because, I mean, for me, I mainly play my MMOs and stuff like that. And, you know, I do a little bit of console. I like games like this that are, like, fighting, you know, like, fighting type of games. I'm not into, like, the horror games and stuff. And, you know, the games that guys like, I tend not to like. Because I, I just feel like those games are, like, for the guys, you know? So... That's just how I am. Okay, so the last story here. And this is once again coming from MMOs.com. Tree of Saviors monster cards are a new type of equipment. Tree of Saviors install button may have just returned yesterday. And once again, this is coming from the 24th. 
but that isn't stopping IMC games from adding new features. The company announced today, or at that time, that a new form of equipment is currently in development, monster cards. The idea is that monster cards will be obtained from cubes dropped by field bosses and instant bosses. Players will have one monster card slot per character rank and will be able to equip monster cards the same way that they equip gear. The key difference between the monster cards and the other gear is that more than one of the same monster card can be equipped at once. That's pretty cool. Much like other equipment, monster cards can be unequipped, but they will lose experience. Ooh, ho, ho. that sucks when they are. The exact details of the system have yet to be finalized, so all of the information is tentative. You can see some of the monster cards and menus that might make their way into the game in the original announcement. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, monster cards, man. That, that sounds really sweet. Um, now, I haven't played the game yet to know if they are active or not, um, but to lose experience, that is not a good time like at all that that kind of sucks really all right so let's get back into it we're going to continue uh questing along here and uh let's see so we gotta get 35 blacksmith hammers sucks to be me right no <laughs> no no let's do this let's do this hey i appreciate cyborg and everybody watching i mean I'm, I'm glad that you guys enjoy what I do because, I mean, most of the time I feel like I'm a crappy gamer. So I'm like, it, it's always fascinating to me that people will still watch me even though I suck at this. Like, it's very interesting to me. Alright, so let's take them out, take them out, take them out. There we go. But yeah, I am looking forward to playing Tree of Savior and not having lag issues. I'm really praying that I don't have to deal with the lag issues. Cause that's the reason why I stopped streaming it was because of that. I haven't even played Davillion in a long time. So I gotta get back and there's, see that's the thing when you play like way too many games, like it's hard to keep like track of like the games that you're playing. Like I have Neverwinter, I have like a whole bunch. I still haven't even finished Dragon Age Origins yet. Which is like the one that comes with both expansions or whatever. And uh, I have to do that and get into that one too. Because I like those type of games too. They're pretty fun. Alright, taking that dwarf out real nice. Alright. Oh, okay, there we go. I know I have the worst faces when I game too. I look super constipated, I swear. But I'm already to like my goal already. Well, half. Well, not even halfway point. But right, so I gotta get these hammers. I'm gonna make this an extra long episode, of course, to make it up to you for being gone for so long. It's been quite some time since I've, you know, had this intense of a gaming session. But the other thing too, I have to find a comfortable chair. If you could recommend some comfortable chairs, because like, especially if you're doing a long extended gaming session, it hurts. Like this chair is so hard, you know? It's a pain. So I need to get a better chair. Alright, let me get that rusty sword. Are you serious? Oh, that's so stupid. So my weight, I have way too many stuff. So I have to sell stuff. Alright, there we go. Let's see 
which way I gotta go here. Okay, over here. Oh no, I have to go over here. Whoa, I was like, what the heck? That's a lot of enemies, man. See, I'm such like a completionist. It's like, not that I have to do the whole map, but I, I like to do it. Plus, it helps me to get experience. We're almost to level 36! So excited. I am so pumped. Whoa! Right, oh, I forgot. This. Ah, oh, this enemy is so annoying. I am looking forward to not being in this area anymore. Because these things are so annoying. This, this enemy is the worst. Super, super annoying. Oh my gosh, look at my health. My health is almost gone. Oh, I almost got you. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me look at my inventory. Let's see here. Okay, so I'll use that. I'll use that warrior cry potion. What the heck is in here? Oh, okay, I can only use that in town. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, that's a mana extract here. Interesting. Okay, well, thank you so much, Cyborg, for coming in. I will have to uh, check out your channel. Uh, what do you do on your channel? Do you do, like, gaming and stuff like that? I'm really curious to know. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, oh, I forgot that this is con you can actually use that. Is it consumable? Apparently. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. What the heck? I could have used this stuff up. Okay. So apparently this is like bread that helps you to regain your HP like oh you do gaming on the PS4 I'll have to check it out make sure um, to check guys check them out uh, of course it is Alan Prit 30 on YouTube so definitely yeah check them out I mean I will you know I always support other people who do gaming as well I mean you know, I am not a bougie person like that. But no, thanks for sharing that. I'll have to check out some of your gameplays as well. I'm sure you play a heck of a lot better than me. So I'll have to check it out. You have a great night. I'm making sure, too, I get some proper rest, too. Dang it. But I appreciate you being here. Take it easy, my friend. All right. So we just finished up the first two hours of Sin TV Gaming. Of course, I am your host, Kita, a.k.a. Blaze and Quita. And I have just been working my butt off to get to this point in DFO. This has been the hardest, hardest game I have ever played in DFO so far. So that tells me that my, uh, my weapons are not that great and my armor needs to be greatly improved. Like, greatly freaking improved. Okay, so let's go down here. And then, uh, oh, nope, I'm going backwards. No. Okay, let's go over here. All right, let's keep going here. And I got to get rid of some crap. There we go. Yes. Man, that is the nicest.
Bison's combo, man. I love it. Oh, this three. Okay. I'm getting you taken out super fast. Because you are really annoying. I was not expecting. Yes! We are level 36. Finally. It took how long? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's about dang time. Level 36, my friend. So excited. All right. It's boss time. Get rid of the enemies. Fight. Really? Really? This is ridiculous. Are you serious? So they're invisible. This is crazy. I'm taking you out. I am taking you out now. Now, now, now. Nope, I am not letting you get into your corner. You are staying right here. And I am not, nope, I am not giving you any shoot. I should have not given him any opportunity. But I'm, this boss is a heck of a lot easier than the other two. Makes me laugh. Man. Yeah, I'll be okay now. But... Well, maybe I jinxed myself. Ah! He's really something, this boss. Yes, I got him, I got him, I got him. Not a problem. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's putting up a fight. Yeah. Woo. That was... Man. That was rough. That was rough. Yes. So what did I find out? Really stupid. That, that was horrible dialogue. Oh, my God. Okay, so go destroy whatever they're making. And you're only giving me 10. What? That's so stupid. That is stupid. Alright, so this I can't use. So you know what? We're going to go back to town. And I'm just going to sell all of this crap. I really need to. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, quest. Oh, feature quest. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I'm doing that one too. Okay. Without being attacked more than 10 times? Heck no. Let's abandon that crap. I don't think I can do that. Alright, so... Oh my god, excuse me. Alright, so that's teleport, teleport, teleport. Alright, so that's all teleport. Oh, look at that horse, cool. Okay, so I need to... Yeah, I need to sell some crap. So let's sell some crap. Yes. Uh. Man, I got a lot of. Uh... See, these are all unique, so I don't want to sell some of these. And these are quest items. Okay, so I'll sell some of these just to get rid of my weight. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, I can't use those. Yeah, these are not going to be helpful to me. A lot of these I can't even use. Like that was for a uh, priest. There we go. 
Oh wow, I got most of my weight uh, limit there. And I gotta use some of this crap, so making sure I do that. Oh, I can use this. Yes! Skip some of this. So I can skip some of this crap. So I can enter a new area. Cutscene! Oh my gosh! I can't believe there's a cutscene. This is awesome. So I can skip through some of this crap. Oh, this is sweet. I didn't think I was going to get a cutscene, people. I cannot wait until I get to level like 85. This is awesome. Really nice cutscene, too. So, as you can see, our map is getting bigger. I started up here. And I worked my way all the way here. And now we are getting closer to... We're on our journey now to level... Um, level 40. I like to do 10 levels. So level 40. We're, we'll get there. But that's cool. So this is where I am right now. Okay. So... Oh! Oh! Whoa! I got to level 37? Oh my gosh, I can't even right now. Got to level 38, cleared all the, so this is cool. It clears all the quests for you, plus you get all the experience. This is awesome. So I just skipped a couple levels. We're, we're going to be level 40 pretty soon. All right, so... Okay, so... Confirm. All right, I don't know what that's about. So let's exit out of that. This is crazy. Alright, so let's convert. Oh, you can convert souls. Okay, I see. Let's put that back. Okay, now it's back to no. Okay, I see. That's interesting. That is... I'm glad I really saved that. Oh, okay, so this is the item shop, so I do not need that. Alright, so let's go back here. Alright, so... Huh, I won't need any of these, but... I'll just probably do take that. Wow, I just moved up eight levels, people. This is crazy. Oh, okay, so I got a... Alright, so that's mushroom wine. Wow, I just moved up... I can't believe I moved up eight levels. That is insane. Wow, like... That cut my work in half. Heck yeah. So you know what I'm going to do? Before I go here, I am freaking going back to that dungeon and owning it. That's what I'm going to freaking do. 
Let's do this. This is going to be a heck of a lot easier watch. Look at that. Do you see that? This is crazy. And of course, this is like the longest level ever. But that's fine, that'll give me some experience. I cannot believe I went up eight levels because of that ticket thing. That is awesome. I hope I get more of those in the freaking future. Cause that just saved me a lot of work. Come on, show yourself. Alright, let's keep going here. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Look at this. Look at all this carnage. I'm like owning it now because I'm a couple levels ahead now, which is kind of nice. Wow, that's so crazy. I still can't believe it. Alright, let's go down here. And you know, funny thing is too, I'm slowly starting to wear makeup again, but I'm so used to not wearing makeup, I feel so comfortable. Like, my skin is not breaking out like it used to, I mean, it's crazy. Okay, where the heck is this enemy? Oh, there it is, I was like, what the heck? There's like a crap ton of them. Go. But yeah, I feel so much more comfortable without makeup now. It's like I'm used to it now. I did wear some today and it felt so weird though. It was interesting. Alright, let's go down here. And I'm glad I picked that attack because that attack has been very, very, very helpful. Oh, yeah, it's the stupid boss. I hate her. But she's a heck of a lot easier now. Look at me go. If only I had known this earlier, maybe I would have not fought that spider queen like, I don't know, like four freaking times. Ridiculous. I did not know they do stuff like that. That's insane. That is crazy. Well, it's not as long of a level as I thought, though. So I can feel myself getting tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I did some cleaning today, actually. Because my space was getting so dirty. It was disgusting. I was like, I need to clean. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. Okay. 
But yeah, it's a, I always clean towards the end of the week just because of like with all like the allergies I was dealing with, I realized I was like I have to keep my you know my space clean here. Like, I really have to make sure I do. It's so important. Come here. Yes. It's so much more easier now. Oh my god. So glad I did that. And I got that sweet cutscene too. Heck yeah. I'm a completionist. <laughs> Instead of me just taking the straight path and not, but sometimes the quests require you to go through the whole map. It's annoying. Man, I got like two of these mofos now? This is ridiculous. destroy the statue. Interesting. Okay, let me... This is not too hard. I thought it was going to be super hard. It's just the building. It's not... I thought it was going to be really hard. Apparently not. Heck yeah. It was worth it. <laughs> okay, so let's try one of these gold cards. That's stupid. I didn't get anything out of that. What the heck? Wow, that's all I got from that. Really? Let's see what the heck is this? Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, that, finally something worth something for Pete's sake. There we go. So let me uh, get all the stuff I was supposed to get. I don't even know what these kingdom tokens are for. Alright, I think we're good. So let's go back to town. So cool, we got a cutscene in there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. I'm level 38. We're on the road to level 40 now, which I will be there very soon. And my goal is I want to get to 85. I've never gotten a character... Um, I'm playing DFO, you know, to 85, so I really, really want to. Um, that's going to be my main goal, but hey, enough of me blah, blah, blahing, right? Let's get into food for thought. So today's juicy topic was, would you get plastic surgery? And this has been an up and downhill battle for me. There are times where I feel so gorgeous, you know, I feel like I'm very attractive and I, you know, I'm uplifting myself, and not by artificial means, but by realistic means. Because when it comes to beauty, honestly, 
Now, in society, definitely your outward appearance seems to matter more than your inner appearance. But in reality, you know, if you really think about it, it's your personality that really shines. And I don't care how much plastic surgery you may get. You know, if you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to feel good about yourself. So it's always important that if you get any type of alteration, I don't care if it's, you know, plastic surgery, makeup, I don't care if it's new clothes, hair style, whatever it may be, it has to be for the right reasons and that is because you want to make that change and you love it and it's something that you enjoy you know don't do things because other people are doing it just because something is trendy that doesn't mean it applies to you and your lifestyle and that's something that I've had to kind of learn is that sometimes you don't need to keep up with the Joneses okay you don't have to be in competition with anybody Okay, when it comes to life, it should be about what you enjoy. And when you enjoy things, you get, you know, when you enjoy life, you are giving your life purpose. You're giving your life meaning, you know. Um, but when you're constantly, you know, trying to be like other people, and there's nothing wrong with role models and things like that. But at the end of the day, to me personally, and this is just my opinion, I feel that, you know, we're all blessed with different skills and different talents and it's up to us to really utilize them to their fullest potential and to kind of correlate it back to plastic surgery once again your personality has to be clear before doing something like that you know because a lot of times people feel well some people feel because i can't speak for all people they feel like okay you know, a, a classic example of this is boobs, okay? So if I get a breast augmentation and I get bigger boobs, I should feel better about myself. But here's the thing, when it comes to plastic surgery, when it comes to almost everything in life, there's pros and there's cons to every situation, you know? And you wanna make sure that if you're getting any type of plastic surgery or cosmetic, that it fits your body correctly. And for me, if I were to get any type of plastic surgery, it would be something that is natural to my physique, not something that would look extreme. And once again, that's just me. Everybody's gonna have their preferences of what they like and they don't like, but don't get plastic surgery because of a significant other. Get plastic surgery because it's something that makes you happy, you know? But also, once again, do your research. Find out what type of work they've done in the past. You know, find out their credibility because this is your life and it's your body that you're giving to someone and you trust them to make sure that it's being done properly. And that is what is important at the end of the day is that your life is important. And any good, you know, doctor or plastic sur you know, surgeon out there, if something is way too risky to get done and they tell you no, don't get mad. That's your life. You know, they care about you, you know, and that's important. But if someone is willing to do a plastic surgery and they don't care about your health and welfare that's something really to think about you know and and for me i was dealing with that you know having low self-esteem and and you know i was like oh you know maybe plastic surgery will fix it no i have to you have to fix yourself you have to fix your heart you have to and when i mean your heart you know you have to fix your emotional state feel better about yourself and once again, I'm not a psychiatrist, I am not a medical professional, I am just talking my opinion. But at the end of the day, it's so important to have wellness, to be a well-rounded person. You take care of your body, you take care of your mind, and you know, depending what you believe in, you know, your spirituality. All of those things together are very important because it helps you to see the world and it helps you to have better clarity especially when you're making proper decisions. And plastic surgery is something you don't want to joke about. Because if you get a box surgery, there's not always that guarantee that it can be fixed. So you want to make sure that you're getting those, you know, proper recommendations. And also too, you have to be comfortable with yourself too. And if you get plastic surgery, you know, and it looks fantastic, it looks great, don't feel ashamed of that. Be proud of what you have and what you're working with and you know we're all made different and no you know and and nobody's perfect i don't care if someone gets multiple plastic surgery that doesn't mean they're perfect 
we all have things we deal with we all have our pros and cons but it's at the end of the day for us sometimes to take that personal responsibility to be a better person and that's something that i've had to do personally because when i started taking responsibility for how i present myself then that's how i started feeling better about myself and trust me it's an up and down you know it, it's not easy you know and it's not everybody has a different journey in life you know so so once again like i tell people you know a lot of times people are like give advice give advice i don't you know one thing i've kind of learned is when you give advice to people um they end up you know just still going with what they feel is right for them so i don't give advice like i said i'm not a medical professional i'm not a psychiatrist but for me i talk about opinion and i talk about my experience and at the end of the day when it comes to plastic surgery don't let it define you you have to be happy with what you present your the how you present yourself to the world and at the same time don't care what other people think because if you constantly care about what other people think what's going to end up happening is you're not going to be happy with your life and you got to focus on your life and the people around you that matter but at the end of the day self-happiness too is very important so thank you so much for watching. Of course, you can follow me at SINTV Gaming. And I'd like to thank everybody, Cyborg, Wizard, and everybody else watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to check me out. And like I always say, remember to get smart and stay informed. I'll see you all soon.